when I was initially went live earlier today around 4.45 p.m. I was at my parents' house, my family's house, and there was a little bit of uh, some Wi-Fi troubles. So I'm here in live from my garage, my little hiking stick here, and uh, just wanted to go ahead and redeem ourselves a little bit. I, I kind of gave some detailed information earlier, but I know in different parts it was kind of a little bit spotty. Um, just kind of muffly a little bit just due to the connection, but we got that strong spectrum Wi-Fi here. So yeah, I'm a uh, pretty bummy right now, but again, just kind of wanted to go over some items for the Tesla Model 3 and just kind of explain those to you. And if you guys have a question, hit me up, leave a comment, um, send me a DM on Instagram or whatever you want, but I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over and so this is the front of the vehicle right here. Like I said, I got the Tesla Model 3. I got it on New Year's Eve, picked it up on New Year's Eve. And uh, the base price for the Model 3, base price is 39,000. And then with full self-driving, it is about 49 grand. Um, so this right here is actually the frunk. It is the front uh, trunk. I actually, darn, I should have opened it. I'll, I'll open it in a second. But the, the vehicle has eight cameras around it. It also has sensors in the front. So if you see these little button looking items here, those are sensors. Um, there's another one right here. These here are fog lights. Um, so the sensors are all around the bumper in the front of the car. As you can see, there's one there. There's another one here, fog lights. And you'll be able to see the cameras around the car. So. That is a camera right there. There is a camera up here in the front center. And also cameras right here on the hinge of the door. And there's one on the other side that mirrors this one too. So it gets a good uh, shot at the side of the vehicle. So um, it has full self-driving on the streets, on the freeway, and then autopilot as well. And so, these are actually these um it's okay so this is a 2021 model 3 so something different between the 2020 and 2021 is the finishing for the door handles and this portion um on the 2020 this area right here is chrome and this is also chrome on the 2020 but the 2021 they changed it to a matte black i think the matte black looks pretty pretty sleek but i actually myself was a fan of the chrome just because i think chrome looks pretty pretty classy and kind of pops out a little bit more but nonetheless it has a pretty sleek design don't mind my uh bag of clothes that i need to throw in the trash because i haven't even touched them for like months um and then obviously the solar panel roof it is completely glass on the top and we'll go ahead and take a look at the back so something interesting about the trunk is that so this is the trunk right here there's a button that you hit just right here and it opens it for you and so the trunk is a hey, thanks man i so said we got the asmr bro Louis Garcia, what's up, guys? Hey, don't judge my trunk. I don't, I mean, it's not a mess, but still got the initial junk that was in my last car, just in a bag here. Emergency kit. It's pretty deep, the trunk, trunk on the Tesla Model 3. Um, it's not very wide, though. That's the only thing. So this area right here, I don't know if this is like part of the battery, but um, yeah. And then they also gave me this item, which is to charge the vehicle from your own garage. And it also came with an adapter, which the adapter I had it somewhere earlier. I don't know where it's at. I don't really use it that much because I usually go to the Tesla charging stations myself. But um, this, it comes with an adapter too, just so if I ever use any general electric vehicle chargers, I'm able to use the adapter to use a, a charger anywhere. To close the trunk, basically touch this button and making sure there's no heads getting whacked along the way. And uh, so this is where you charge your car right here. Dude, yeah, you've seen the scratch. Dude, bro, I don't know how that happened. I went and got a haircut at some point last, earlier this week on Monday, came back and like, boom, I noticed I was pretty like bummed out about it. Cause it's a pretty nice size like scratch. Plus the paint is taken off. And I'm like, 
I think to even repair it, they would probably have to do the whole door because they can never just do like one tiny spot. So I'm like, I'm just going to leave it like that probably, unfortunately, for, for a minute. Um, so this is where you charge the car on the corner and you just tap it. So I have two options. I could go to a Tesla charging station or a general electric vehicle charging station. Um, if I choose the electric vehicle charging station, I have to take the adapter with me. Um, but if I go to a Tesla charging station, their chargers fit perfectly in here. And so the great thing about the Tesla charging stations is that they can completely charge your vehicle in 30 minutes. Um, if I go to a general electric vehicle charger, which I would need the adapter that's in the trunk, um, it takes about four, anywhere between four hours to 10 hours. So my apartment complex here has the chargers out in like the very front of the complex, but it would take a total of like 10 hours to get a full charge there. And it would cost me like 10 bucks and I get free charging at a Tesla charging stations for a full year. Only thing that sucks is it's like six miles away. And so, um, that's the only downside I would say so far of having this car is the fact that. I have to travel like six miles to charge my vehicle. And so here's the other camera right here. Um, there's also a camera in the back. And let's see, this one right here. And then these are the wheels. They are 18 inch aerodynamic wheels. Apparently they help with like energy efficiency, help you get like more mileage or whatnot. Um, on a full charge, this car in total gets 263 miles. And I would say that it lasts me maybe about like five days, sometimes six, if I conserve a little bit, but let's go ahead and hop inside. So to open the door, basically all you do is you press this right here, pops out and bam. And so this is what the inside looks like. If you guys haven't seen the inside of a Tesla, so I would say more than anything, the cool thing about this car is that it's so like pretty minimalistic, as you could tell just with the steering wheel here. It's literally two buttons and a horn. I would sound off my horn, but my neighbors up there might get pissed off. Um, but who cares, right? Let them get pissed off. Anyways, so yeah, literally everything. There's what's so different and been a huge um like just change for me is that there is no dashboard here. You know, usually we're driving and then you look at the dashboard for like your speed, the temperature, um, whatever else you're looking at. And so there's nothing. It's literally all in this one space. So this is about, I would say 18 inches diagonal. And so from here, this little um, interface here, we're able to control a few different options with the car. You can open the frunk. That's what's called literally a frunk. Um, it tells you like when your doors are open, I can open the trunk. If I press, so I'm going to press this, it's just open the trunk, the frunk. But um, since we're on this right now, I'll just kind of show you guys all that it can do. So this here is the dashboard. This is for the car and literally you can change anything from the lights to the locks, display, driving, autopilot. So this is what um, assists you to do your settings for autopilot. Um, since you have the pearl finish, make sure they paint the whole door. White pearl is the toughest to match. Yeah, man, that's what I was saying. Like they're literally for that little scratch going to have to replace the entire door, which kind of sucks because I'd probably be like $500 for them to just like paint. It's kind of bugging me a little bit though too just because of the fact that it's on my door that I get into every single time. I think if it was on one of the like secondary doors or the passenger side or the back passenger side it wouldn't be so big of a deal but um, so this is the glove, glove box over here to open the glove box just hit that button and boom it is open and so yeah this is a whole like toolbox down here. Um, this is the fun one right here though. You just press this and all of these items pop up. Something that's really cool. I'll just show you guys the items that I think are dope. Um, it has a camera setting. So literally if you get pulled over by the cops or I don't know, something's going down in the area that you're at, hit that camera, you're able to record it. Um, you can choose which cameras are recording. So you can choose anywhere from the back to the front to the sides and, um, you can snap photos and record anything that it's going on so if you get pulled over or something like that i think this is a super handy tool that the car comes with that i think was pretty smart for tesla to integrate into their system 
Um, so again, you hit that item, and then it also you can pull up a calendar. Uh, I don't really use that. It's, it's like, why do I need a calendar in here? Uh, charging. So this is what it looks like. So when you charge right now, I have 88 miles left until I need a new charge. So whenever you plug in the charger to your, your vehicle on the outside, it'll show that it's charging. And then it'll tell you how much time is left until you get a full charge next. And one of my favorite items on here is in the toy box. So toy box literally comes with everything from I can do a, uh, you know, if you want a fireplace, I can't do it right now. It won't let me just because, oh, let's see if it works. All right, guys, we're getting cozy in here. We got a fire and it legit is blowing out hot air, which is pretty nuts. It's crazy. Um, I feel like this is so unnecessary for any type of car. But um, yeah, I guess if you want to come up in here with your bay get some mcdonald's and uh you know plop down them two uh large diet cokes and enjoy like a sunset with the fireplace on that uh could be pretty ideal and so it also has a sketch pad on here there's some games if you want to look at mars let's check out mars here um multi-planetary species it lets us zoom in and stuff like that uh what else do we got a boom box so there's it's like pretty crazy because there's a lot of different driving sounds this is probably one of my favorite um, features in the vehicle which is the fact that you can change the sound of the horn so i'm not going to sound it off right now but i can change the sound of the horn to a fart noise a poosh toss a coin a goat an old horn applause ta-da my favorite is the dj one though just because it literally is like bah, 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 bah. literally like the party is about to start um and then they also have la cucaracha which is like mariachis um so you sound off the horn it honks and then it kind of yells at these people with this following noise the fart one's pretty funny because i feel like when anytime somebody fucks up on driving just hit that and then fart at them basically right after um but yeah so that's that and then Let's see. So after this, we have the entertainment, which it has karaoke as well. That's not in the entertainment section. My bad for bringing that up so quick. But could choose from any of these games. It's like nine ninety nine a month. So I just purchased six. It it's only ten bucks. So any of these games, you got Solitaire, Cat Quest. We got uh, what else? We got Cuphead, Beach Boogie, Racing Two asteroids some of these games i've never heard of but then there's those other ones where i'm like hell yeah that's dope i've never millipede i still haven't played with any of these games just because i don't like sit in my car for hours on end but karaoke is probably a pretty pretty i think it seems pretty fun i can also pull up the web here um internet which i actually have i think my gmail account open when i was charging my car a few days ago i uh was kind of getting some work done and you sitting on my laptop right here and then using this to figure out like which uh items i needed to finish by the end of day and so yeah i think there's some items in here that come in super handy but um karaoke is pretty dope so basically what karaoke does is it's karaoke for your car and so where the heck is that let me find that uh where is it right here i think it's right here no so basically what karaoke does so i can explain it as i'm looking for it is it pulls up your um it, it pulls up like any song that you want to sing karaoke you choose a song that you want for instance let's say you want to sing get low by lil john you'll click on get low by lil john what it does is basically eliminates the vocal and then uh, it's like a soft vocal, actually, and then uh, a beat or instrumental. And then it gives you all of the lyrics. And then you also have to, like, ensure that you're not the driver isn't playing. You hit yes, driver ain't playing. And then everybody in your backseat can get their karaoke on and the passenger as well. But, man, I wish I, I should have that memorized by now where that's located at. You would think I would. I mean, it's not like I just got this car. Come on, push the horn just once. Oh, man. I, okay, let me try it. Let me see. I'll do it just one time. Uh, where is this at? All right, we'll do the fart noise, see what that sounds like. I mean, I think we all know what the fart sounds like, but 
it'll be fun to hear it from the car. Uh, okay, hold on. Where is this at? Oh, it's in my toolbox, my bad. Entertainment. Toy box. Okay, so you see right here where... Oh, my bad, I'm blocking the camera. So right here where it says um, boom box, and this is the toy box here. And so I'm going to do, we'll go to fart up here. And so we can replace the horn. And so it is set and let's preview it. So did you guys hear that? So when you sound off the horn, literally when I press this, um, this is what sounds out in the car and outside of the car. So it has a pretty like strong honk and then followed by that <laughs> she's uh it's so dumb I'll, I'll play the other ones for you guys too um let's see so this is what the posh sounds like well i never well i never all right toss a coin that's what that sounds like So if you guys are just joining, I said we got a couple more people. This is actually, we are able to alter and change the sound of Tesla's car horn. And so we're just previewing the sound. This next one is a goat. This one's kind of funny too. I like it. So you can honk at someone be like, get the fuck out the way. And old horn. So it's sounding off on the outside and the inside. Here's an applause, you know, just to be sarcastic with people. Like, you suck at driving. <laughs> uh, next one. Let's see. What do we got next? Ta-da. Um, the tablet does not come out the car. It's, it's stuck on here. Yeah, unfortunately, you, you can't, like, remove it or anything. It does look exactly like a tablet, though. Um, so, but, um, let's hear that one. That's kind of like some uh, drums, drum sound. This is my favorite one, okay, DJ. I've been waiting to use this one. Haven't had a chance though. So I did actually, I was in uh, the area that I live at, like around a shopping center and I did sound it off when I first got the car. But, uh, oh, La Cucaracha. All right. I love that one. I think that one's pretty hilarious. But yeah, so that's it. Like I said, this is what the um, solar panel roof looks like. As you can see, that's like my garage door thing. I don't know what you really call that, but you can see that through the roof. Um, the entire roof is glass. There are a couple different lights back here. And it's actually decently roomy back there. The leg room amount, like the amount of leg room in there is pretty solid. And I'll actually, I'll show you guys. I got to show you the front anyway. So, but yeah, this is the front. Really cool feature is that iPhone. You can charge your iPhone right here. And so all you literally do is just sit it down and it charges your phone. So for instance, um, this is actually my work phone. I'm going to show you guys. This is an iPhone 7 though. Like my work, we got to upgrade because iPhone 7 does not work in a Tesla to charge it. But so basically what you normally do is you set your phone down there and boom, it'll turn on and show that it's charging. It only, I think it only does iPhone 8 and above. So, I um, mean, it works on both Apple and and Android phones, which is really cool and super convenient because it has space for two phones. So um, somebody that hopped in my car um, had an Android and put it in here and it uh, charged it. And that's how I found out that I was able to do Apple and Android, which is super convenient. When you want to put the car into full self-driving, all you do is hit this lever here twice. So you put it down twice. So boom, boom. Um, I'll, I'll just put it because you can't really... I'm not in drive or anything so one two so it's telling me you see press brake pedal to shift gears so that's all you do when you want to put the car into self-driving and then boom it would be into self-driving mode and um yeah and then to get out of the vehicle this is like the most interesting part when i first got this car the very first day i had driveway my parents it was on like i said new year's eve 
and uh my family they i dropped them because like i have a one car garage so it's kind of small to get in and out and whatnot so they got out and then they were waiting like in front of my apartment literally i was stuck in here for about five ten minutes because as you see there's no like door handle there's nothing to like open and push or pull and um literally all you do is you hit this button right here and that opens the door and so say i was driving oops my bad say i was driving um let's see i'm gonna put the car in drive really quick so all you do is i have my foot on the accelerator and you press this lever down oh it's not gonna go because my front trunk is unhatched so that's a safety feature but anyway it kind of works like that a little bit and then to put it in park you just press this button and boom we are good to go um but it thinks that i'm trying to like take off or something ignore and continue to drive. oh shit it's gonna let me ignore so yeah it'll let me ignore to continue to drive that's pretty crazy but the crazy thing the thing that i like a lot about this car though is the sound is like freaking pretty amazing so there is a ton of my, uh, speakers in here there's one here there is one there and then in the entire front of the dashboard that is also a speaker and then there's some in the back but the sound is so full and crisp as you can see in the back that there's also two speakers back there and um but i'm gonna show you guys the front really quick As you can see, this is my uh, my one car garage here, which it comes in here because it keeps my car like warm in the winter, cooler in the summer. But yeah, this is my walking stick that I took on Zion vacation this past summer. Well, it wasn't really a vacation. It was just a trip because there was no fun in 2020. But yeah, so this is the front right here. Has the Tesla badging on the front. And so it's not really, it's not huge at all. Maybe you could fit like a backpack or two. Um, do any of you guys know what this is called? I have no idea. The fart horn is worth the 40 Gs. Yeah, definitely worth the 40 Gs. I would definitely uh, agree on that. <laughs> so yeah, I would say you could probably fit like two backpacks or a few different bags in here. Um, it's not, not, too much space, but definitely would come in handy, especially if I'm traveling with like four other people or whatnot. So this is the front scoot back to give you guys a little bit of perspective of how the size looks. But yeah, and I might have some trouble shutting this right now because you have to use two hands. Um, so unfortunately, when I first got the car, well, I actually just got the car, but the first week I was struggling closing this, the hood. And you have to use two hands and if you use one hand you are like um you could possibly dent the hood of the car so i'll just leave it like that for now but yeah i, I want to give you guys just a view of the back seat here just so you can get some perspective on what the leg room looks like i'll actually come around here on this side again you just push the doorknob in voila you are in and Oh shit. So I actually, there's a decent amount of legroom for this being somewhat of a, it's not a small car, but it's more of a compact car. And uh, I still have like, I could fit three fingers in between my leg and my leg and the seat in front of me. And so, yeah, I would say it's, it's pretty comfortable. And I'm 5'11, my legs are pretty long. So, yeah in the daytime when you're driving though um i'm obviously usually the driver of this car the back seat is where it's at because it has the whole view of like the sky with the solar panel roof and uh yeah i would definitely say that's my favorite part of the car so whoever's sitting in the back seat has the best view and um but yeah here's the speakers i was talking about earlier there's one right there and there's one right here and yeah, I think that's just about it. There's air that comes out uh, in the back seat, which is really cool and not always featured in many cars. Also has inputs for iPhone chargers back here. And there's also cup holders in the back, which fits two little armrests here. 
And yeah, the cool thing about the middle seat in this car too is that it doesn't have the bump. You know, a lot of cars in the back seat, they have the bump. And so it's like really hard for someone to sit because then your legs are like right up on your freaking neck. Um, so yeah, my feet actually fit fine right here like is this ideal an ideal place to sit no but like if i have to it's definitely better to sit like this than having my legs all the way up my freaking neck like a pretzel so i'm going to turn these off and something i don't think i showed you guys though was the mirror the mirrors are really cool they got somewhat of an led light and they're super bright so that's something that i really like, not that I use the mirrors, like, often at all, but, um, that was pretty cool. And a really great safety feature is these mirrors here. Even this mirror here at night when I'm driving outside right now, they changed color. But, um, at night, every day they turn blue. And that is to protect the driver from the glare of the light from the cars that are shining behind them. So, you know, a lot of cars these days, the majority of cars are made with LED lights. And so it's super bright, the glare, and that could be pretty... Um, uncomfortable for your eyes when especially if you're driving on the freeway and driving long distance so that comes in clutch big time and then just uh it's a pretty deep uh what's it called what do you call this just space to hold your things i just got some sunglasses in there and that's about it but yeah so i just wanted to redeem ourselves from earlier my brother shot the video for me he did a great job but uh the video that i shot was very uh, like I said, the Wi-Fi was just super wonky, and I just wanted to uh, give you guys a better tour of the vehicle. Like I said, this is a Tesla Model 3. I got the pearl white, and I've had the car for about maybe three three weeks now. And overall, I definitely recommend the vehicle. I personally like it, and um, the reasons why I like it is I feel like it's such a minimalistic car. Like, there's everything I need in it but it's so just simple at the same time my main reasons for getting it is just because of the full self-driving i am not a fan of driving but this car has eliminated some of my uh dislike for for driving and uh especially on the freeway i don't mind driving on the streets like driving on the streets is fine but i worked in los angeles for about two years and people drive like assholes and are crazy and um that really made me like uncomfortable driving a lot of times and so now on the freeway all i do is turn on that full self-driving although we do have to train these cars for about five the first 500 miles it says when i first purchased uh, just for the car to get a feel of what the road is like on twists and turns and um, it's done well so far. The only thing that has uh, been a little sketchy is there's been a couple of times where I've turned on my turning signal late in while in full self-driving mode while on the freeway. And so I turned on the turning signal late and the car slowed down so fast. Like it almost felt like it came to a stop, but there was cars behind me. It was trying to get over to the other lane as quickly as possible because the ramp that I needed to get on was coming up in like half a mile. So um, that's one thing if you get a Tesla Make sure you turn on your turning signals at least like a couple miles before you get to the on ramp that you're trying to get onto or the turn like the ramp that you need to take just because uh, it'll stop and slow down so fast. Literally, like I felt like my heart fell into my butt or something because I was like, oh, shit, that car's going to slam into me behind me. Luckily, they slowed down. And um, at that point, I took it out of full self driving and kind of took over at that point just because I got a little freaked out for a second. But I think that's uh, that was my fault as a user just because. I mean, this is obviously like a electronic, uh, like a technical vehicle. And so, um, yeah, it does as best as it can, probably better than me because it has eight cameras around it. I only have two eyes as we all do, but, um, yeah, it was a user error in that case, which is because I put the turning signal on too late. And so it changed lanes a little too fast with not enough time to do so. But yeah, overall, the base price on Tesla Model 3s with tax is 39000 And then with the full self-driving is about 49000 Like I said, I got everything else basic. I really wanted the, I, I did like the white leather seats. I chose black just because I, I watched some YouTube videos and the white ones on people's reviews were getting like dirty and had 
stains on them and jean stains and whatnot and i said oh heck no i'm not trying to clean my seats like once a week people were saying oh but if you just clean them once a week um it's no big deal and i was like oh hell no like i'm not getting something to have to maintenance it every single week so and there were an extra one thousand an extra fifteen hundred dollars just to get the white leather seats so um i passed on that and then also the wheels i was able to choose 19 inch wheels um rims they were a little bit nicer than the aerodynamic ones that i have right now but um but yeah i had to google it laugh it's a toe hook. dude thank you very much it's a tow hook in the front trunk dude I appreciate you looking that up because uh, with the way I do things, I would brother, he's 18 and he's super like inquisitive and into like building stuff and find uh, so I would have waited for that. But man, I appreciate that. So it is for towing, man. Well, that's a cool thing to have, I guess. But yeah. So yeah, like I said, I, I highly recommend the car. I, I had an Acura ILX before this. I think it was maybe about... Um, to a little over two years but like i said i really what sold me on this car was the full self driving and um that's something that i don't regret and literally my payment is only 16 dollars more a month than it was on my my acura so i'm not even paying that much more a month but um yeah i've been enjoying it and so yeah guys if you guys have any questions about a tesla model 3 or any kind of tesla um, hit me up and I'll uh, share as much as I know. Obviously, I didn't know what the, the tow, what was it again? A tow hook. I didn't know what the tow hook was. I was in the, the frunk, but now I do. So yeah, I overall highly recommend. They're really fun to drive. Like I've never had that much fun driving a car. Obviously, my Acura was a lot of fun to drive too. I Acura is obviously the uh, brother to honda honda and i think honda is like a great brand as well and i think my my dad has a honda and so yeah i had i had a lot of fun with the acura i wish i could have kept it but like it's kind of pointless as me as one person to have two cars like what's the point in having two cars and two car payments that's a uh, pretty ridiculous and a waste of money so um that was a no but i felt very bad leaving my car i picked it up like i said i picked this car up in palm springs which is the closest tesla dealership to where uh, i live and picked it up on new year's eve and uh me and my brother drove it home and this car that's one thing i didn't touch on this is it's so quiet like you can literally be in drive and it does not sound like the car is on and you as soon as you take your foot off the accelerator the car stops so that's a big difference i think just the drivability of this car is so different from just uh any other type of car out there that's not an electric vehicle that's probably one of the biggest differences so far is just the driving capacity is literally you hit the accelerator take your foot off you don't even have to put your foot on the brake and it legit just stops so that's uh that's one thing that's very different and the the braking when you brake it like comes to a complete stop so fast it's pretty pretty nuts but it does go zero to 60 in i believe 2.5 seconds or 3.5 seconds one of those two i know that's probably a big difference if you're like a huge car guru or whatnot but yeah it goes picks up speed super quick but um i was sitting in the parking lot of the car dealership my car was still like amongst the other vehicles in the lot and whatnot and they took forever that day. And so they had told me it was going to be 15 minutes. All I, I had already paid everything. I had already signed all this stuff. Um, bro and boy, you both are on my ASMR sleep playlist. I appreciate you both. Love your videos. Ah, oh, Louie, I appreciate that. Yeah, just uh, ASMR bros. That's a, a great ASMR artist right there. I'm always inspired by his stuff. So you pick some, some good people. Um, but yeah, so me and my bro like i was saying at the tesla dealership the the people were taking forever like the the reps representatives or whatever i was only supposed to be there 15 minutes i ended up being there for like an hour and so at that point i could tell they were like super busy and i told them they asked me if i wanted them to show me like how to operate the vehicle which buttons meant what but i had been looking at videos online on youtube for maybe about a year before i bought the car i literally wanted the car for about a year uh maybe that's not that much time for some people for others it might be forever an eternity but um i felt like decently confident that i was able to like drive the car off and get home and um i was stuck in the parking lot for five minutes before i realized that i already had the car in park so the car was already in park and I mean, 
the car was already in drive. All I literally had to do was put my foot on the accelerator to, to move. So the car was on, but it's that quiet to where you can be ready to drive or ready or be in reverse and um, not know. So I actually, this past week, oh shit, my bad. Um, some of you may have heard, may have not, but TMZ ran a story that uh, Jamie Lynn Spears, Britney Spears' little sister, Zoe 101, I guess she killed a bunch of cats with the Tesla. So there's been a bunch of headlines in the past week. If you guys Google that, I don't know, maybe you don't want to, but I'll tell you about it. So basically, Jamie Lynn Spears, she she has a Tesla and she killed like a number of her cats, like a number of her daughter's cats, because the cats, I guess, like to hide behind her Tesla's wheels. Um, and so like a regular car it doesn't start up and there's no engine sound so i guess she's ran over and killed like at least two or three of her cats and so she kind of called out elon musk to implement some type of safety device that uh, the car can like alert pets or animals to know that the car is gonna turn on or or on and moving so yeah it's pretty crazy that she's uh killed some of her her daughter's kittens which is insane hey brainer sandoval what's up appreciate you uh logging in to uh to watch and whatnot but yeah so that's that's one of the things that's probably one of the coolest features and one of the like unsafest features for the pets obviously is that um you don't want to ever run over your dog or your cat or whatnot luckily i don't have a dog or a cat but it is like what if there's a kid behind you so that is kind of a safety feature that you do kind of keep in mind because if you have like a little toddler or something um that would be completely awful and so i think maybe they do kind of need to not that animals are any less than humans but um for kids i just wouldn't want tesla to endure that kind of crisis with a person running over a baby or a child or a toddler because of the fact that the car's so quiet and you can't hear it turn on so but yeah other than that that's all i have for y'all if you guys have any questions like i said hit me up We've been going for 37 minutes. I think earlier the live was a little over like 22 minutes and I did a um, point of view, somewhat of a point of view, full self driving. But yeah, it was, a, it was a little bit wonky, like I said, the Wi-Fi. But I got that Spectrum Wi-Fi here at my apartment. I paid $30 a month for it, very proud, just because that's super cheap for Wi-Fi and it works so good. But uh, yeah, guys, I appreciate you watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. Also, you guys helped me get to a thousand subscribers recently just on January 4th and super grateful for you all and excited to uh, to grow this channel. And um, I think I'm going to start doing more lives too. I feel like it's a lot more fun to just go on and do something live. Uh, obviously, ASMR style. This is just a one off just because of the fact that I a couple of you guys had been asking for a uh, walk around or a review of my car. And uh, since it had been a few weeks since I had gotten it. But yeah, I definitely going to do more live stuff. Um, obviously keeping in line with ASMR. But yeah, if you guys have any live ideas for me, drop them in the comments. Send me a DM. Hit me up on Instagram or whatever. Um, I'm always accepting of ideas as long as they are legal, <laughs> as long as they're safe. Um, I'm always down for that and always down to collab with y'all. So thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to y'all soon, guys. Peace. All right, now how do I turn this off? <laughs> how do I stop this shit? Uh, all right, anyone know how to stop this? Hey, Brainer, I appreciate that, man. Okay, do you guys know how to stop this? I have no idea how to end the live. Uh, I could share it. How do I share it? I can create a post. All right. Uh... I usually just throw my phone at the wall. Hey, bro, I should probably do that. Yeah, it'd probably go through my one car garage and enter into my neighbor's um, apartment. Okay, wait, since you guys are on and I literally have nothing else to do right now, I was actually going to go on a walk, but let's play a quick game of would you rather. All right. Would you rather have to run a marathon in wooden shoes or bike a marathon on a bike that has no seat it's literally just the post so you gotta stand up mostly to uh to complete that marathon so the wooden shoes or the bike with no seat let's see what y'all got 
Um, let's see. We got no answers yet. So since I'm waiting for answers for that, I'll tell you guys, I would the wooden shoes. I would for sure choose the wooden shoes 100. I don't I don't think it would be safe to do that on a bike. All right, we're all on the same thing, the wooden shoes. All right. Would you rather have to wear a sombrero everywhere you went for a year or wear clown shoes everywhere you went for a year? I'm choosing the clown shoes because I'm already a clown, so it wouldn't be much different <laughs> from uh, my everyday life. So clown shoes or a sombrero, a giant sombrero. I feel like sombreros are heavy. I don't know if you guys have ever worn any. Um, not that I've worn them like a bunch of times, but I've put one on uh, a couple times while uh, in Cabo. Louis, good night, man. Have a some great sleep. Um, sorry, this is an ASMR, but clown shoes. Sombrero, damn. Okay, clown shoe. The first sombrero answer I've seen. All right, next one. Um, all right. Mary, kill, F. I'm only saying F just in case there's some kids on here. Um, Mary, kill, F. Selena Gomez, Miley Cyrus, Demi Lovato. The uh, the Disney, uh, what do you call that? Triage. Mary, kill, F. Miley, Demi, Selena Gomez. So... Um, I think they're all great, but I'm going to kill Miley Cyrus. Brainer, I appreciate that. So um, I'm going to, I'm going to end up killing Miley. I'm going to F Demi and then marry Selena Gomez just because I think she's the, uh, she's the cutest one of all of them and the most like, she seems like most natural and kind hearted person. So maybe she's not, I could be wrong. That's just what, uh, tell your car to do it. <laughs> um, I wish it could talk to me. That would be amazing, especially since I live by myself. I'd park it inside and just talk to it all day. But, uh, but yeah, let's see. ASMR, bro, if you're still on, who, who you, uh, who you marrying out of those three? Miley, Selena, Demi. I think we might have done something like this before. None. I'm a straight female and I don't want to go to jail. That is hilarious. Oh, man. But, all right. So, here's the last one. Here's the last one I'm going to do. Would you rather have to have arms the size of your legs or, or legs the size of your arm? F okay. <laughs> Would you rather have arms the size of your legs or legs the size of your arms? I would rather have legs the size of my arms. Yeah, I would definitely rather have legs the size of my arms. Okay, here's another one. Here's another one. I think this one's funny. Would you rather be eight feet tall or three feet tall? <laughs> Uh, yeah, Brainer is dope. He's been giving us all the love today. That's awesome. Super appreciative of you. Eight feet tall. I think for sure I would rather, I would rather be eight feet tall too. Yeah, just because I would rather be looked at for being big than looked at for being small. Just because I feel like when you're small, people try to pick on you and stuff. And I'd rather just be big and intimidating right off the bat. People being like, I ain't gonna fuck with that guy because I'm gonna get my ass beat. Um. Damn, what's another one? You guys give me one. Let's see, one of you guys give, give me a would you rather. Alana, your response was hilarious. None, I'm a straight female and I don't want to go to jail. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. Just making sure. You guys, I'm so surprised that I even have six people on here. <laughs> that's pretty hilarious. Yeah, I'm so glad that tomorrow is Friday. I am uh, not doing anything this weekend again. Hopefully, something great though in the state of California is our COVID cases are down a bit. Like any news is positive news, but um, from what I've read um, or and seen on the news too is that today, what yesterday actually Thursday, <clears throat> or today still Thursday. 19,000 new COVID cases, which is a lot. But at one point this month, earlier this month, we had 60, like 64,000, which is crazy. So glad that uh, that's going down. So 
that's a good thing. All right, guys. Well, I'm actually about to log off and probably go eat some ice cream. I'm not going to record it, though. Um, would you rather have $50,000 in a day or $10,000 in 20 days? Damn. Um, shit, either of those sounds great. Would you rather have... Oh, gosh. Uh, okay, first to answer, Alana's 86. <laughs> Fuck. Um, I would for sure rather have $50,000 in a day. Yeah, for sure. Okay. I'm for sure... Unfor you know what? I I'm, This is a pretty... ASMR, bro, that's a pretty scary... Uh, item man i hope that that's pretty i'm gonna have to go with the covid <laughs> i don't want to get it but uh i actually nikado avocado i think i'm kind of aware of who he is but i kind of find him annoying i'm not i mean i'm gonna be honest i have nowhere near the amount of followers as he does but uh i find him quite annoying and i feel like some of his stuff is pretty <clears throat> overly exaggerated and fake but yeah he, he can end me in one little uh Dang, I'm already starting to cough. Things ain't going good. <laughs> I got some. <clears throat> but yeah, um, Avocado, I feel like that guy, I feel like a lot of his, he's gotten a lot of backlash and hate at one point. I think because it seemed, I think he started off as like, what, a mukbanger. And then all of a sudden he started implementing like storylines into his stuff. But I feel like he's super extra. <clears throat> and I don't know. I think that's what like works with a lot of people on YouTube is people like you because they like they're invested in who you are because you are credible to them and like add value to their life but i don't know i feel like he's pretty fake so yeah i'm glad we all were uh on the same foot with that one um okay here's this one would you rather have to eat a spoonful of nose hairs or a spoonful of belly button lint you can choose the person that you cho uh, pull it from too so I think if I had to choose nose hair or belly button lint, I'd probably choose it from Hillary Duff. She looks like she's super clean and yeah, and fresh. So I'm choosing, I would choose either or. <laughs> All right, so nose hair or belly button lint, a spoonful. Um, and you can't choose death. You have to choose one or the other. Oh, y'all are taking a second. So, okay, so I see we just got a couple new new people. I want Demi Lovato nose hair. I think the ASMR bros got something for Demi Lovato for sure. <coughs> Dang, you guys, I'm I'm not sick. I literally started talking about Nico Avocado because the ASMR bro, and then I start choking. Um, I think when we went live, I went live on the ASMR bros uh, Insta Insta live one day. And you mentioned Demi Lovato too. I think you, what is it with her that you like? Is it like the booty or something? Nose hair from Ariana Grande. Okay, I feel like she would be a good one too. I, I would take her nose hair too. Don't tell anybody I said that because that can come out of context and I'll sound like a freaking weirdo. But yeah, okay. Those are actually two good options. Everybody's choosing the nose hair. Dang, okay. Honestly, I feel like belly button lint. I, I mean, I don't have lint in my belly button because I like wash my belly button, but... I feel like that would wouldn't be so difficult to chew on. I feel like if you're eating nose hair or chewing nose hair, I feel like that would get stuck in the back of your throat and probably make you like cough and choke for <clears throat> long ass time. Yeah, Demi Lovato is fire. Have okay, what's up, big bro fan ASMR bro? I support you too. You sent me here. <clears throat> Yeah, ASMR bro has been super supportive of my channel. I'm super, super grateful. I think even early on, like, I mean, I'm not saying my content is good. It's far from good at this point. But um, when my when my channel was trash, like back in March in my audio, I remember one day he hit me up and was like, what level do you have your audio on or, or what's going on? I remember just being like, oh, shit, he actually watched my video. And uh, yeah, he helped me get on track with like <clears throat> solid audio too with my Yeti. So 
Yeah, Demi Lovato, speaking to her, she actually sang at the inauguration, Joe Biden inauguration in Washington, D.C. yesterday. <clears throat> and I almost didn't recognize her with her haircut. She got like a super, super short cut. And it's like, I believe it's pink right now or something. But she's still a good one of the solid performances of the night at the inauguration. But the way that you feel about Demi is the way that I feel about the Duff, the Hillary Duff. I don't know. Lizzie McGuire primed me for my whole life. And I, uh, I got it. I think Hillary Duff's having a baby, but. I like she's one of those celebrities that I check the Instagram about uh, a couple times a week before I get my day started just to see uh, what she's up to. But yeah, that's that. <clears throat> so now I know you guys are all disgusting and like nose hair. So we all have uh, that in common. I'm glad that we all shared that. So I'm not singled out here. Um, but yeah, guys, this has been pretty fun. I'm gonna have to go live a lot more often now that I'm a I've unlocked this part of YouTube. Um, like I said, hit the thousand mark. How many Hillary Duff posters you got? Damn. Um, to be honest, I have a cardboard cutout. Yeah, it's in my bathroom, the cardboard cutout. And then I just like look at it while I'm sitting on the toilet every once in a while. Um, but yeah, that's it's really cool. I got it for my, I think, like 15th birthday. So I've had it for about 13, 14 years at this point and got it from a store called Spencer's at the mall. But yeah, Hillary Duff is uh, just like major crush. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I, no, nah, that's actually a lie. I actually do not have a cardboard cutout. Uh, I wish I did though. So if you guys have a, if you guys come across a Hillary Duff cardboard cutout, uh, go ahead and mail that to me. I'll send you my uh, PO box or something like that. I'll get up. I'll set up a PO box just for that. But yeah, no, I don't have a uh, cardboard cutout. I do. <clears throat> what do I have? Of her? I don't have anything of her. Honestly, I just like stalk her on on Instagram, and that's about it. But uh, she's pregnant again, which is great for her. That's like super exciting for her. Sucks for me. Good for her. But yeah, guys. I so like I said before, I live by myself. I'm gonna have to start going live more often. I'll like a lot of days of the week i'll go to my family's house high key i straight up show up for a meal because i hate cooking i cook like lunch every day because i've been working from home since last march and um i usually skip breakfast because i wake up literally in time to start <clears throat> work so literally i'm home all day in my apartment <clears throat> obviously i'm in contact with like coworkers and, and my friends and uh people that i'm close to and uh in my family and stuff like that but some days, like I said, then I'll go over to my parents' house, which they live super close, like 10 minutes away. I'll go for dinner. Um, and they usually just know a lot of days that I'm about to show up. But then I come back home and um, I usually have like a couple hours before I actually fall asleep or before I pig out on ice cream or something. And uh, for now, on, I'll try and go on some lives or something. We'll, we'll set some some stuff up and do some what are the odds that you will that I'll do something or what are the odds is a really fun college game and it's got me drunk so many times. I have a, a buddy named Joel who went to UCLA in, uh, in LA, obviously. And uh, I've thrown up in a tent from playing that game and uh, a bunch of other places that I'm not remembering at the moment. But yeah, I feel like lives are so much fun. It's a lot more interactive, which is really cool. So I wish I could uh, stay on here all day, but <clears throat> since i'm just talking to y'all at this point how many of y'all have been keeping up with the gym in 2021 i need the motivation more than anything so i just got a gym membership um right across the street from my apartments there's uh, a new gym it's called oh shit my light turned off it didn't see any movement in here damn all right guys well now i really gotta finish it but as i was saying i've been trying to get some uh I've been trying to get motivation to go to the gym and uh, haven't been able to find it. So I got a gym membership in uh, or November, but as soon as the COVID cases um, went up, I kind of stopped going, which was about a month and a half ago, really trying to get back to that place of like hitting the gym again. And uh, so right now I think I'm going to go walk on my treadmill for a few minutes and it's probably going to keep me up all night. Hopefully not, but yeah, I'm just super glad that it's, uh, Oh man, me. Yeah, I feel you on that. It's it's been a tough year the past like 12 months, but there's so many <clears throat> literally I feel like I mean, and I'm not the one to like preach about going to the gym just because I'm not the like most um uh 
just probably not the best person to give gym advice. I, I was going a lot for like maybe about five years for about like five days a week. And then maybe the beginning of last year, obviously when March hit, I completely stopped going to the gym <clears throat> due to the pandemic that we're in. And then in November, I picked it back up. But there's so many ways that you can still exercise like outside and whatnot. And there's some great apps. Um, let me see. Was it Alana? Um, Alana 86. There's some great apps. I'll have to. Oh, actually, I have an app right here on my phone that I can share with you. It's completely free. It's an interval workout app that I have used. It's called Hit. Um, so it's there's like all of these different. Um, what is it called? High. So hit stands for what? Is, what does hit stand for, guys? Again, I'm drawing a blank right here. High interval workout or something like that. I, so basically, it's a bunch of like different workouts that you could choose for free. The app is called Hit. That is H I I T. It's free in the Apple Store. If you have an iPhone, I'm sure if you have an Android, there's like um, some great high interval workouts some great apps like that too but i would recommend it too also you can walk outside i feel like walking outside is so great for for the mind and for for my head basically when i went and visited my parents earlier right after i did that wonky live with the the awful wi-fi um i went on a walk in their neighborhood because it's like super they live in a super outdoorsy space and so i was able to just um go ahead and go on a walk they have trails nearby their house but all that stuff is completely free so i would definitely encourage to um even just start by walking outside and download like a high intensity interval workout app to to get you started and get you back in the game because uh just because we're not in the actual gym doesn't mean that we necessarily have to like give up on exercising walking is the one thing that i've maintained the past um 10 months since i kind of stopped going to the gym um but I miss lifting weights. Like I feel just after lifting weights, just that whole, what is it called? I, I know you get some type of like hormone variance or item that makes you feel like really great. But after I run and after I lift, I just feel like I'm in such a like great mood and just not like stressed out. And so that's why I think working out is so good. But yeah, it just sucks that this entire um, past 10 months, so many of us have kind of gone without going to the gym and being as active as we normally would. So a lot of us have been electing for ice cream over lifting myself. Um, and I think like the alcohol consumption of this past year has been higher than, than most times too, but yeah, some, some tough times, but we are all getting through it together. So yeah, that's one thing that I love about having groups like this and being part of different communities like this is we're all here to encourage each other. And so, um, that's the main, main point and stuff. So yeah, like I said, every day I try to walk like at least a mile, that's not a ton, but I, I definitely like my body has gotten so much softer than it used to. I definitely have lost like so much muscle than, um, than I used to have. I used to have like 24 inch biceps and now they're about like sevens. So no, I'm just kidding. They were never 24s. I think at the biggest, they're probably like 13, maybe 13 and a half. But yeah, I can't wait to get back to that point in life of going to the gym and being comfortable going like multiple times a week. I wish the gym here at my apartment complex was open. Literally, I pay for it every month, but it's closed just because of safety reasons. So it's actually a really nice gym too. And I would definitely use it. It's, def it's like 50 feet away, but closed every single day. So, but of course, Alana, yeah, that's what uh, I and so many others are here for is to uh, give off encouragement. And so that's what I will uh, strive to do. But I'll, I'll also continue <clears throat> keeping you guys in the know about my struggle with working out too and um, just trying to get back on track and drinking enough water and enough green stuff, eating enough green stuff. So but yeah, this entire video has gone completely off track from what it was normally intended to be. If you guys just logged in, I gave a whole tour of my Tesla Model 3. Um, like I said, if any of y'all have any questions, if y'all need somebody to talk to, if you guys have a question about or, or a recommendation on a topic, um, always leave a comment or hit me up 
White Claws definitely count as water as long as you add some uh, tahine and some, turn it into a little michelada or something, then it counts as a, as a, uh, you know, healthy beverage. White Claws, honestly, to me, White Claws are so weak. I don't get buzzed or drunk off of White Claws. The only thing I get from White Claws is a headache the next day. Um, White Claws and Trulies, like I, I've never been buzzed or drunk off of them. I just get a headache. That's all it does for me. Um, I don't know. And like my alcohol tolerance right now is way down just because I haven't been out like partying like I normally would have if I wasn't in a, if we weren't in this global crisis that we've been in. But, um, yeah, I, I like to stick with the tequila. If you guys were wondering, I like, I like, I'm a tequila drinker and a vodka person. Um, but vodka does count as water. And if you are eating it with fruit flavored gummy bears that is healthy for you i know uh the asmr bro i was watching one of your videos and i was actually i meant to uh i was gonna i thought about dming you on instagram about this because i was playing one of your videos and i was at my parents house and i was sitting next to my mom and she was laughing because you were saying that something was how oh you were saying that the candy that you were eating <laughs> the uh the ones that were shaped like watermelon were healthier than the others and she was laughing just because she thought that was genius like um so i mean you opened up the doors and are making uh changes in the world and in my family's household because now any watermelon shaped candy we have deemed it as healthy because um of you paving the way so uh, i thought that was pretty hilarious so that was super funny but yeah, if you guys are watching and you're not following the ASMR bro, I know I only got six people on here, but uh, check his stuff out. He's super funny and, and hilarious ASMR bro. Check his page out. But yeah, guys, um, you would think that I'm drunk right now because I've just been rambling, but I am not. I'm pretty sober. Um, so, and if you're wondering where I'm at, if you just logged in, I'm in the backseat of my car. Um, my light for my garage turned off because it assumed that nobody was um, in here. And so, yeah. All right, guys. Well, I will catch up with y'all later on. Um, does anybody, like I said earlier, I tried to shut this off like 20 minutes ago. I don't know how to end a live. My brother ended the last one for me. Uh, save highlight. What do I hit? Uh, ASMR, bro, you've done lives before. How do, I, how do I exit out of this? Do I just hit the X if I want to save and publish the video? But how do I exit this, which will still allow me to like save and publish this video? I'm getting crickets here. Okay, I think you exit it and it gives you an option to save it or not. Gotcha. All right. Well, I appreciate it, man. Thanks for the info. All of you guys, I had a lot of fun. Like, literally, I wasn't expecting to have this much fun on a live. <clears throat> this one was a lot less, uh, you know, planned out than the last one that I had my brother assisting me with. Super grateful for him. I'm pretty drunk whenever I go live. Dude, I'm going to definitely, uh, maybe this weekend, I'll have some drinks and then go live. And, uh, yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. But yeah, I had a lot of fun doing this with you guys in the Would You Rather. You guys have been great choosing those answers. You guys made me laugh. The Nico Avocado one was pretty funny. Now I know that you all love nose hair. I'll keep that in mind for next time. But all right, guys, have a great night. I'll talk to you all soon. Peace.